I took public health last semester and it really helped to open my eyes to all of the disparities that exist in healthcare and how unfair it can really be. Working with people who don't have the greatest access to healthcare, I think it really helped open my eyes to how many people there are out there who need help and sometimes how little help they're getting. My name is Andrew Driscoll and I'm studying nursing. Every morning I wake up bright and early as nurses do and I think about the fact that my job is really able to help others. I want to help them feel okay with where they are but also feel better with where they can be in the future. My name is Lily Harris and I'm in the nursing program at Northeastern. I'd say the first time that I really felt strong feelings of nursing is the right path for me was probably my first co-op at Mass General. I had a patient sitting with her, talking with her, counseling her a little, and seeing how much better she felt after we talked. It just really gave me this feeling of like, this is what I want to do. This is where I need to be. I think that the first piece of my life that contributed to my charisma and my enthusiasm about nursing was the fact that I have red hair. When you have red hair, people want to talk to you and touch your hair and come up to you all the time. Being a nurse, you have to be able to work with people and be a people person. Because if you're not a people person, you can't connect, you can't have the compassion, you can't have the empathy. My grandmother and my mother are the most empathetic people in the entire world. They like to save the world one person at a time. And I'd like to think that that phrase can now sort of apply to me. Hi, Mrs. Smith. My name's Lily, I'm gonna be your nurse today. The big part of the nursing program at Northeastern that I really loved was that so much of it is based on hands-on learning. I'm gonna go ahead and inject this right into your thigh, okay? Three, one, two, three. All right, there you go. In this kind of simulation center, we have mannequins such as this one, um, who are programmed to function just as normal human beings are. You're never graded in simulation centers like this, so you can take as much risk as you want and not have to worry about messing up or anything like that because the main purpose of it is to learn from what you do. It does feel a little bit boggy, so I'm just gonna massage it to make it more firm. I'm sorry that it hurts. The co-op program at Northeastern is what attracted me to go here. For my third co-op, I went to Greece and I volunteered working on a refugee camp. It was amazing. I think it was really great in multiple aspects. It was great exposure just to the huge crisis that's going on in the world right now. It was great just seeing how healthcare systems and hospitals and clinics and whatnot work in a foreign country. I just feel so blessed that I'm even able to sleep while there are people out sleeping on the streets. And so it just makes me feel really privileged for the life that I have and really eager to go out there and help people who aren't as privileged as I am. I work on a medical van that is funded by Northeastern, which serves communities around the Boston area that have limited health access. We offer things such as STI testing, helping people find a primary care physician, and I do a lot of outreach through that, as well as working with the nurses to do the actual patient assessments. I recently joined the van for their annual summer trip to Provincetown on the Cape, and one patient stood out to me in that we were able to really help this patient get through the situation they had and help them move forward with what they needed to do to make them feel more comfortable about their health decisions. After working with that patient, I knew that we had done a really fantastic job at helping him feel more confident in himself. And seeing that confidence build up in him made me feel so much better about the work that I do and how I can help others. After I graduate, I'd really like to continue working on an ICU. In the future, I definitely want to, well, graduate from Northeastern. Just working more with underserved communities so that I can kind of have a balance of building upon the medical knowledge that I've already started 
creating here at Northeastern. And then eventually I plan to go to nurse practitioner school. But at the same time on the side, I think I'd like to dedicate some time to more public health endeavors. I could not be more grateful for the fact that I go to this school. 